Our next question tonight, how is climate change affecting how we assess these 50 or 100 year floods and storms? I'm guessing you've heard the term 50 or 100 year flood event. That does not mean that it's only going to happen once every 50 years or once in a century. It means that there's a, a one in 100 chance of a 100 year storm happening each year. We know that storms are getting more intense and frequent because of climate change. Russ Schumacher, Colorado State climatologist, tells us that climate change is redefining those 50 and 100 year markers, mostly in other parts of the country. In, for example, the Midwest or the northeastern United States, uh, there's already a very clear signal that the heaviest rain events are getting heavier. Um, we actually haven't seen that so much in the West. So the statistics here, you know, in Colorado and, and the Southwest um, haven't changed quite as much in recent years, I think partly because we've been in drought as the climate changes, I think there will be a need for for more uh, concerted, you know, uh, effort and and more uh, research into these sorts of things to to hopefully get those numbers right. Those numbers matter because engineers and city planners rely on those metrics to design their work. We should say flooding in Colorado this time of year obviously is not unheard of. Schumacher pointed out monsoons in late July, early August. That was what was behind the big Thompson flood in 1976, as well as that really bad 1997 flood up in Fort Collins.